Burl started autism services because they saw the need. Um, many of us that were child uh, therapists uh, in the mental health world here at Burl would see individuals come in that, that uh, were on that spe the autism spectrum. Um, and we had some things in the mental health world that were beneficial to that child, to that family, but they needed more. With one in 45 people uh, being diagnosed along the autism spectrum, we know that each one of those look very different, and that can change across the lifespan of an individual. We may start with an individual who needs much more intensive services, and then as they age, those services may look a little bit different. The lifespan of autism doesn't stop just with the diagnosis. The things that are affected are a person's behavior. Sometimes there's repetitive behavior, and then communication. Um, there may be different styles of communication. They sometimes echo what other people say. And then the other thing is relationships. Uh, those social interactions sometimes can be difficult for a person uh, who, who is on the spectrum. We try to provide a very comprehensive range of services that will meet uh, the unique goals that everyone has who walks through our door. So on the treatment side of things, we have applied behavior analysis and we do provide speech language pathology treatment and occupational therapy treatment and we have uh, psychological counseling services that we offer. One of the best parts about our center is it's housed within Burl as a larger organization. And so that means that we can refer to another provider who we can work closely with, even if they're not here on our floor who can provide that care, and it's much easier on, on the, uh, the client that's coming to us, and it's much easier on the family. We always, no matter what type of service the child is in, have a goal of collaborating closely with the families because that's best practice and that's the best standard of care for, for the people that we take care of up here. We want the successes that happen here in the clinic to be out into the community. The way to do that is to bring that knowledge to the community. We have relationships with schools where we can offer uh, teacher training as well as walking right into the door and uh, providing direct services for clients. At the end of the day, I don't go home with these clients. Their teachers don't go home with them. Their, their parents do. So we have to be able to provide that knowledge in a real way that they can actually implement those things at home. My hope is that they have hope and they know that this is a place, that there are people who care about them, who will walk beside them in the challenges, who will celebrate the successes and uh, be a part of their team uh, as that child grows into, through all of those stages that they will be through, go through into adulthood and beyond.